Let's hit Probably. Record. Record change. Alrighty. Oop, I better. What? I better. Dan's like, no, I'm not doing this now. I'm done. <laughs> it's over. I'm done. It's over. Okay, let's set the first Game one. Game over, one. man. Game hole and win. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you start an episode. That's how. That's how you know it's. It's people don't even have to like know. Like you can just play the video. They hear that and they're like, "That's Daniel." Yeah, I know that. I know that anywhere. I, I know his frequency. Hmm, that's what smells podcast. <laughs> Smell the bakeries. I haven't cooked something good for you, sister. All right. So hallelujah. To- Today we're going to play some Full Throttle. We, full Throttle. We were going to replay Oxenfree that we lost because my recording device took a total dump, but instead we're going to play this one. And then What'll be good about that too is it'll give us a little time, to, for at least for me, to forget what happened, <laughs> and then it'll be like... Time to forget. <laughs> well, yeah. I need some time to forget. <laughs> no, it'll help me... Uh, when we play it again, I'll be like, oh, yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> be kind of yeah, nice. Yeah, it's a good game, but, like, you know, it's like playing it through, like, two a weeks times. in a row. It's like, maybe just, sometimes the story game is nice to have a little bit of distance between yeah. plays. Yes, I will. All right, here we go. We're this playing it. progress in- from last time when we saw the cutscene. Yeah, pretty much. Well, I'm going to, uh, we're going to play the remastered version, just because it fills up the whole screen. Yeah. That's the last sensation I oh. had before I blacked out. The thick smell of asphalt. And the first thing I saw when I woke up was her face. She said she'd fix my bike. Free. No strings attached. I should have known then that <laughs> things are never that simple. These old games are great. Yeah. When I think of Marine, I think of two things. Asphalt and trouble. <laughs> Rip Burger, you're dumber than dirt. And this guy's Mark Hamill. Corley, if you'd only Actually, I think they're both Mark Hamill. My vision. Sounds, I know plan, sounds like him. Burger. You're waiting for me to die so you can take over my company. Man, how did Lucasfilm man- manage to get Mark Hamill? Right? Can't imagine. I'm such a leap. That's you know, funny. I never liked you, Rip. <laughs> well, I guess when they were, when you wonder, they, like, I wonder how, like, how much voice work you did before this, because you know, like, you know, he's an amazing Joker, but like, this latest idea of yours, yeah. Well, I don't really know the timeline of this, and I was thinking this is probably well after Star Wars. Yeah, it was like '90s. So I wonder when he got into voice acting. It's pretty cool. Yeah, he's had way more work as a voice actor than a regular actor. I'm pretty sure. Probably. He's in like everything as a voice actor. Ah, your ears are fine. It's what's between them that scares me. Look in the rear view. They're full throttle. Oh, they're coming up. Full throttle. Trying to get to Flavor Town. Yeah. Oh no. Smashed his chair, baby off. Now I know we have the LX package. <laughs> <laughs> I love that Futurama joke. Yeah. Now there goes some boys I can ride with. Step on it. Let's find out who hey. they are. Basically, he's the owner and founder of Corley Motors, which is the same as Harley Motors. Ah. I was like, why is the rich guy something like, oh yeah, that's what I want to do. Go with the bikers. So that makes sense. I want to ride with bikers to the country club. Get me. Actually, he's riding with them to the shareholders meeting. Get me meeting. one of those. <laughs> Look at the the the, mo- the the pipes coming off of it. They're like everywhere. Yeah. Roy yeah. Conrad, Mark you know, Hamill. Like, you know the best. You know, rider has got the most pipes. Yeah. It's all about the pipes. I'm I'm pretty sure that doesn't help anything. <laughs> like that's 100 well, percent for what. You know, you no, know, like so they're totally like. What the, vestigial? Is that the right word? Yeah, vestigial. That's uh, a that's a good yeah, word for it. Yeah, well, yeah. I think there's a better word for like something that's unnecessary, but like, but that's the one I could. That's the one that popped in my head. I'm gonna turn this down a little bit. It's still really loud. But it, it doesn't matter if it's you know if it, it serves a purpose. It's it's all about that. It's a power. It's a power move. Yeah. 
it's feathers, you man. Get back mine. All my pipes. It's it's just feathers, man. Oh, such good music. Yeah, I like this game has awesome music. That's the thing I remember the most from this game. Tess McNeil. I feel like I've heard of them before. Tress, Tress McNeil? Yeah. Uh, she does a bunch of voices on Futurama. Ah. Yeah. Well, you know the guy that uh, that plays Hermes Conrad got his start at LucasArts. He did like four oh, or five nice. places. Uh, yeah, um, Phil Ma Lamar. He was on Mad TV as well. It's really cool. He was on an episode of uh, Superstore. Uh, show Sarah and I love to watch and like he plays a voice actor and he's there in the <laughs> store because they're releasing like a game he did voices on it's pretty cool was it Escape from Monkey Island? I hope it was <laughs> no no it was like a, a game they made up for like for the I'm sure it was like a made up game for the show that would be funny though hey Ben mm. you know Ben we're broke yeah and if some cash doesn't come our way soon we're in big trouble relax I have a feeling something's coming our way. Something big. I didn't see his name. Is Phil Lamar in this? Is yeah, it may be him there. I don't know. I was always wondering. Like you, hey, you talked you about it, so I assume he was on here, the this place credits. But I didn't only. notice it. <laughs> <laughs> I love old man Corley. <laughs> Possibly be taking so long. Maybe old man Corley got himself in trouble. He's like, yeah, maybe they took the old guy out back and worked him. Oh, I know that guy. Me too. <laughs> An appealing notion. I think most specifically <laughs> of um, more likely he's one of the I can't think one of, of mom's kids. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, but also, what I can't think of what Matt Groening's newest show, what it's called, Disenchantment. He plays like a. Court sorcerer like guy. So who do you ride with these days? Huh. He rides Interesting. With me. Although I'm sure he'd much rather be riding with your little club. I told you to wait out in the limo, Rip Burger. I thought you might like some help with your sales pitch, sir. <laughs> sales pitch? Yes. We have come His face. to offer you. I know, so much upper lip. Yeah. Mr. Corey. What a long face. So a VP walks into a bar, and the bartender asks, Why the long face? I'm Rip Burger. Rip Burger? He rips burgers, man. <laughs> Nasty butt burgers. Ripping in the tan. The polecats are not goons for hire. Not even if it were Malcolm Corley's dying wish. Rip Burger? That does it. I'm gonna... Hold I'll, on there, Malcolm. I'll show you my pants. I'd like to step outside with Mr. Ripburger for a little chat. Excellent idea. Excellent. <laughs> Kickstand's a good name for a biker bar. It is definitely a good name. The says he only has a few months There's to General leave. Surplus That's bad over. news for all of us. Gen He's not just a General guy. Surplus. He's also the last motorcycle maker in the country. He's also when the last the motorcycle maker in the country. He knows the pipes. I have a plan. Nice pipes. Nice pipes, baby. Shareholders meeting with us. You'll find out what it is. No dice, Rip Burger. <laughs> the polecats are not thugs for rent. Maybe like if, if, if like no one could ever say your name without saying your full name. The old yeah. Man says it's the polecats <laughs> are nothing. Then I guess it'll have to be nothing. Hmm. And that's your last word. That's it. Well, I'd like to make you just one final offer. <laughs> Clap. Such a tiny uh, watch. Bolus, take this coat and go get his motorcycle. We'll have to tie up this little 200 pound loose end. <laughs> <laughs> It'll need to look like an accident. That stuffed shirt actually thinks I'll leave him in control of calling motors when I go. Boy, is he in mm, for a surprise. That's what he's, he's going for, hey, is trying to get that. Uh-huh. Your colleague has decided to accept our generous offer after all. I want some pants with knee pads. As a matter of fact, <laughs> he's gone on ahead to scout out the route. He did? Well then, let's roll them, boys. <laughs> Yahoo! <laughs> boys, I love, here we come. I love old man Corley. <laughs> he's just like, woo, let's do it, baby. Hell yeah. Oh, 
Switch render mode. Oh, I can switch. Cycle inventory. Move closer. Snap to hotspot. Okay. Okay, so that's the action buttons. Okay. I can deal. Remember, the left stick steers the bike when you're on the bike. And when you're in the car, it steers the car. <laughs> nice. The control said so. Okay, I got out of the trash can. Didn't they say they were taking his jacket? Yeah, they definitely did. Warning. Do not play in or around dumpster. Do not kick dumpster. Do not sleep in dumpster. Usage of this container for disposal of human remains <laughs> may be a violation of local health ordinances. <laughs> I'm definitely going to kick it. <laughs> Take that. <laughs> Take that, society. I love it. I love these old point and clicks. Mm hmm yeah, that's not a genre I never really got into. I never got into. I never played any of like in back in the day. I've only you know dabbled a bit here and there today. Right. Good thing Ripburger didn't touch my bike. Good Sarah and I did play him. through uh, like what, the Thimbleweed Park. That game was really fun. Yeah, I haven't. Which one is that? Like meta. It's kind of like a kind of X Files. You like you start as like an agent coming in just to. Like, investigate a murder. Hmm. It's very meta. It's funny, because, like, talk about, like, instead of, like, talking about decomposition, like, about the pixelation on the body. Hilarious. That's funny. Where my keys, baby? Some joker took my keys. I don't like that. How would they know, like... So they might... I don't get it, because they took his motorcycle, too. The micro gang would have known his motorcycle was gone. Yeah, or that it was, you know, I mean, I assume, like, they they Open hit up. it or whatever. Right. But, like, the, the, the whole, like, the way everything looked in the background, it seemed like something was shooting I, off, like uh, someone was leaving with it. Right. It was sticking. <laughs> Fix your door. I don't want no trouble. Just leave me out of this mess. <laughs> What's that? Badger. Good thing that's a badger. Why? Because <laughs> if that were a dead polecat, I'd have to trash the place. <laughs> Dumb. Okay, let's talk to the bartender. Get this over with. Looks like you're out of customers. Yeah, your gang talk off with those those well dressed gentlemen. So what'll it be, Mac? Where'd everybody head off to? What am I, the cruise director? <laughs> They're up on the Lido deck. <laughs> I think you ran on this whole bum deal. Yeah, well, what are you gonna do about it? <laughs> what am I gonna Kick do him? about it? What do you have? I'm going to <laughs> twist your nerves. I'm looking for my keys. I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm sure you don't. You want was something? It? What was the headache one? What do you got for a headache? A little sympathy. Thanks. But not much. Okay. Let's see. Is it? You know what might look better on your nose? What? The bar. Ooh. <laughs> now don't mess around with me. All right, all right. I got your keys, but I don't know nothing. They had guns. They told me to stall you as long as possible. Why? I don't know. I don't know. I overheard them say something about an ambush up the road. Got your keys, but I don't know nothing, anything. Nothing. What are they for? Look, man. Here are your keys, all right? Kitty, what do you think about those jingling keys? Say something about killing didn't even notice. Look like an accident. Snoozy cat. Too good of a job there. But why am I good kitty? I'd better get moving. On jaw. Yeah, I like how they're like, mm. Ring pull. They're gonna. I like how they said they're gonna use uh, to make him. They're gonna kill him, make it look like an accident. He's like, oh, they didn't do a very good job. <laughs> They're just, they just stopped it and make it look like an accident. <laughs> Kickstand, we went down and I flew up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on the road. I always think of like Soundgarden's <laughs> Kickstand song. Oh, Gotta break my it? rusty cage and run. But they try. Uh huh. Dun, 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 yeah. How would you drive with that wheel? 
Also, how's the freaking weather vest stand like on and all that yeah. wind? It's tied to his nipple rings. <laughs> it gives you quite a bit of tweak in there, doesn't it? Oh, baby. That's why he's wanting you to leave him alone. Yeah, he's just trying to focus on the laser. <laughs> She's poking you. Yeah. He's got some pipes too, but not nearly as many as. Yeah, but for some reason they're coming out of the like yeah, front like, wheel. Yeah, can you imagine if those actually pumped out exhaust like and it flew in your face? Oh, smack, 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 smack! Your fist is like way smaller than his head. Yeah, like a lot. <laughs> you got tiny hands. Hey, number one polecat, baby. Popping a wheelie. Oh no. Well, good thing you can do a wheelie, because holy shit, you're gonna need to. <laughs> His face. Oh no. <laughs> uh, oh, it hurts. Uh, intense face. Oh, jeez. They may have done a decent job making it look like an accident. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna look a lot more thrashed after the accident. Like now you gotta play the skin graph game, mini game. <laughs> Oh, more. Malcolm Corley's dying wish. Something about an ambush up the road. Malcolm Corley's dying wish. His fawn Oreo. Double stuffed. Mmm. Ouch. Don't you bite, Jason? <laughs> Can't help it. She's taking it so delicious. Man, this is great. My editor better print these in color. <laughs> now, I Typical have to journalist. Some Someone's dying. Take pictures. Ah, quit moaning. I know someone around here who can fix anything. Even you. <laughs> oh no! Call Mulder and Scully. It's an alien. What are you? I'm a mechanic. And apparently a pretty good doctor as well. <laughs> My name's Maureen. I'm a mechanic. Hey, ben, why did you hit me over there? Look, their eyes right? match. Either one of them open them. Just squint. brought you and your bike here. My bike? What have you done with my bike? Brought it back from the dead. Sort of like what I did with you. By the way, Trust McNeil played finish, Dot though. from Animaniacs and Babs Bunny on Tiny Toons. Daisy Ducks was 99. Nice. Remember? I bet she was the. I bet she's the voice of that person that was taking pictures. Probably, yeah. Last name. I prefer not to use it. What about you? Same deal. Then it's Ben and Mo forever, I guess. Ben Mo. Yes. This an authorized Corley Service Center. You could call this a Corley Service Center, but I don't have the official paperwork. Ah, an illegitimate Corley operation. I prefer to think of it as a renegade Corley operation. Appeared on some Weird Al of, uh, I better get going. songs, too. Let me know if you need any aspirin or anything. <sighs> yeah, her main character on Futurama's mom. Me and my Uncle Pete. Huh. He took care of me after Dad split at this place he called the Mink Ranch. And when he died, he left it to me. You're a mink farmer? Nah, that place went belly up long before he died. But I still go back there whenever I need to get away for a while. Uncle Pete's Mink Ranch. Oh, I need to take this. It's been a while since I played this. Oh, I forgot to ask her what I needed. Oh, good. You're not dead yet. I might still get a quote. I, I bet that's I bet that's in. Tress McNeil. Yeah, but don't worry. I wasn't trying to. I was just looking for some nice roadside disaster photos, and you helped. You want a picture of me bleeding? It's not the blood. It's the way you were, all twisted up like a pretzel. Well, I'd better take off. <laughs> all right. <laughs> well, well, I'd better take off. Then hit the old dusty trail. I need to ask Maureen. Mo. Reen. Yeah, Ben. Uh. I gotta get out of this town fast. Trouble with the law? Not in this county. Then what's the <laughs> hurry? 
my gang's in trouble. My oh, gang's yes. in trouble. How'd you know that? They gamble them on the back of your jacket. They're headed for an ambush, so I gotta catch them. <laughs> they better get this bad boy back on the road then, huh? Oh, maybe she already told me what I needed. <laughs> well. Let me know if... Yeah, all right. No, I... Another personal question. No, I don't want to ask questions. I better get going. Let me know if you need anything. Another personal question. Yeah, what is it? I gotta get going. <laughs> all right. I gotta get going. Hmm. Do you... Do you know how to... I get going? <laughs> Let's, uh... Oh, I guess we can start a new episode here. Indeed. Alrighty. A nice introduction to full throttle. It's so far we're just at kind of th half throttle, half yep. part throttle, <laughs> throttle ish. We're only at turtle. We're gonna get the throttle to bunny. So <laughs> that's right. <laughs> All right. Bye. Bye. <laughs>